want to say a few words about this fellow here I met at one of my open mics. His name is uh, John Runberg. He goes by Gus Cannon uh, uh, on Facebook. I'm not sure if there's uh, an IRS uh, problem or not. <laughs> I think he just likes uh, old time music a lot. So he took uh, one of his heroes' names to use as uh, a Facebook persona. Gus Cannon was a, a jug player, played banjo. He wrote the song Walk Right In. Anybody remember that one? The uh, Rooftop Singers released it on Vanguard Records. <laughs> Same Charters uh, was, uh, was the one who got Gus Cannon the royalties because on the record, I have two copies of the Rooftop okay, please, Singers version of that and nowhere is mentioned Gus Cannon because he wrote it back in the 20s. Okay, play Let's do Modern Man, eh? Okay. It's from the Modern Man. <laughs> I didn't even need to say that. You guys are so sharp. <laughs> hey, Modern Man, Modern Problem, you got a little garage, a great big car. Modern Man. Modern man, modern problems, man in possession, but he ain't learned his lessons. Modern man, man of religion, he's tough to see, to be a vision, limited vision. Modern man, modern problems, he got a little Modern man, yeah, modern man, modern problems, manic possessions, but he ain't learned his lessons. Modern man works real hard for his little yard. He's down at the bar, he got emotional scars. Modern problems, he's got a little garage, a great big car. Modern man, modern man, modern problems, many possessions, but he ain't learned his lessons. Modern man. a month at Greeland's store in West Melbourne. We love it there. 
And I, I, I want to mention also, uh, I'm lately, I, I really like music set to videos. And Gus has done three of my songs, my original songs. He's a, uh, he has 716 millimeter canisters of film in his basement. He's an eccentric is what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> He's a crazed man. And, uh, mildly. Only mildly. Yes. See, some people might not think that, you know, but anyway. But he's, he's, he did some beautiful things with, um, with Beauty Road, my song Beauty Road. He put it to uh, Yosemite uh, footage from, what was that, from the 20s or 30s. 30s. Then he took home movies somehow he got a hold of from Egypt, and he put Desert Prayer to that, which, I mean, just, it's killing me when I see these things on YouTube. I hope you'll check them out. Gus C, is that yeah, your site? Gus C. Or if you're that's uh, my channel. That's your channel, okay. And uh, I'm, I have a habit of posting uh, these on my Facebook site, or uh, I don't have them on my website. But but anyway, and there's a third one. He took the villain and he put it to a Mickey, no, Mighty Mouse, Mighty Mouse cartoon. Uh, part of the song, not the entire song. And uh, uh, would you explain that, that cartoon for these people? It's kind of Uncle Tom's Cabin. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a Mighty Mouse uh, version of Uncle Tom's Cabin. And it's, it's an abbreviated cartoon. It's silent. Uh, for the home market in the 1940s, they would uh, castle films would market these little two and a half cut downs of regular seven or eight minute cartoons. This is one of them. And uh, John's villain really reminded me of the old railroad, you know, dance all tied to the railroad tracks. Anyway, it seems to work. So. Well, you're not going to fly it, right? No, I'm not going to no, fly it. No, I know that. <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, yeah, I thought we made this clear. I thought we made this clear. This was music of mine set to video that right. Gus did. Right. All right, good. <laughs> yeah. Gus C on uh, YouTube. Yeah. yeah, what do we got time? A few more, Bear? Yeah. Yeah? Two, All right, let's Old Mill Rag and then Some Supper Day. Good. We'll do something uh, anachronistic or, or rather uh, incongruous at, uh, at the end for you. How's that? <laughs> you like incongruity? Do you like anachronisms? We do. Plus, let me hear the volume on your guitar again. All right. Old Neil Rad. I'll get it going, and you just hop in, okay. hop on.
thanks so much to everybody for coming out tonight. <clears throat> Barry for having us. Everybody was, uh, who played, played wonderfully. It's, it's a pleasure to be out on a Saturday night. Pleasure over here. You bet. Some summer day. Why am I doing this? I don't know. <laughs>
so much. My buddy Gus.